Happy Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tuesday, April 28th. Coach Crawford here, Coach Malik, uh, and we've got a great workout for you for those of you who've got your garage gym set up. Uh, maybe you've got your rope tied up at the tree at the, at the back of the house here because we do have rope climbs today. Uh, our workout is going to be four times. It's called run and gun. It is going to be a five, four, three, two, one of rope climbs. After each set of rope climbs, it'll be a 200 meter run. And after the run, it'll be a set of pistols. And the pistols will go 25, 20, 15, 10, and five. So it'll be five rope climbs, 200 meter run, 25 pistols, then four rope climbs, 200 meter run, 20 pistols, so on and so forth as we get through our rounds here. Now, the rope climb and pistol combination are two movements that aren't necessarily in everybody's wheelhouse. So it's going to really require us to make sure that we have our concentration up uh, and we're really honing in on moving well so that we can be effective getting through this. This workout can hang you up if you come out hot um, and try to blast through those rope climbs and don't necessarily take as much time to really have high quality pistols because the fatigue that will build up from the running uh, will be a lot and we don't want that to be a brick wall that hits us in the face in the middle of this. So uh, let's talk first about our rope climbs. We wanna be very efficient with those, making sure that we get up the rope in as few pulls as possible. This is gonna require us to breathe and require us to take our time getting up that rope. Then when it comes to the run, we can use the run as an opportunity to catch our breath a little bit on that first 100, then that last 100 coming back, we wanna push it a bit and then get right into those pistols. So we've got Malik here, uh, and he's gonna go uh, through a rope climb here, and we're gonna see how he's gonna make his body small, then he's gonna fully extend. So he's just gonna give us two pulls here. So he reaches as high as he can, he gets his legs up as long as he can, then he extends his legs, he's gonna come back down for us so he doesn't go out of frame. We're just gonna take another look at that. So again, he's gonna come up, so he reaches up, He's gonna pull his feet up and holding here, he's creating a lock, he's making himself small and he's gonna drive through his feet to extend his body as he pulls up, reaching as high as he can before he goes to that next pull so that he is covering as much ground as possible with as little effort as possible. How was that? That was hard. That was, <laughs> that was hard. It's been a minute since we've touched the rope here. Uh, but we have no doubt this will be a really solid workout for you. Uh, as far as scales for the rope climb today, if you have, don't have a rope, you can do strict pull-ups with the same number of reps there, or you can double up those reps and do ring ropes. Uh, and those will be our scale options for today. Now, running is running. If you don't, can't run, we can row. Uh, if you can't row or don't have a rower, you can jump rope, mountain climber, jumping jacks, rower, anything like that will uh, suffice to scale for that run. But then the pistol. This is a complicated gymnastic movement. Uh, I would say more gymnastic type movement. Um, it is a squatting movement. We have a lot going on in the sense that he's gotta be able to have good ankle mobility, good hip mobility to get through this full range of motion while keeping his other leg fully extended in front of him as he goes through that range of motion. So he's gonna show us a few reps here. We're gonna alternate our legs. So he sticks one leg out, he sits back. Notice he keeps his heel down. He's gonna hit that other side. Malik has very, very pretty uh, pistols, but notice that weight stays down, he drives all the way up and he comes to full extension. That other leg that's out in front of him is not touching the ground at all, and that's what we're looking for in that pistol. So hitting that full range of motion, getting your hip crease below the top of the knee. Now, if you don't have pistols today, that's a-okay. We're gonna go with front step lunges. So he's just gonna step forward, keeping that nice 90 degree angle, knee stacked over our ankle, then he'll come back to that starting position, that's one. Again, he will alternate those legs, that's two. So the rep scheme will remain the same there, whether we're going with our pistols or we're going with those front step walking lunges today. So again, it's five, four, three, two, one of rope climbs, a 200 meter run, 25, 20, 15, 10, five of pistols. Give this one a shot, have an awesome Tuesday, get some tacos, and as always, We'll see you on the other side of the curtain.